Good morning and welcome to today's upload. I hope you're well out there and staying safe. My name's Emma. Make sure you stick around and subscribe for twice weekly videos. We do hauls, vlogs, chats, and today we're back with kind of like a vloggy. I'm just looking at Stephen's washing there thinking, why hasn't he put it away? Um, today we're back with like a nice little weekendy kind of vlog. I am taking the kids with Stephen to one of their favourite places so that's very exciting and also i've got to go and pick up some makeup that i ordered so i can show you that as well it's just going to be general lovely so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have a shower make myself look presentable these pajamas are from asos before anybody asks they are cropped top which is quite nice in this warm weather need to make the bed lucy's not going to help are you no and um right Let's get ready, shall I click? And then I'll be ready. Bing, I'm ready, I'm wearing a jumpsuit today and I've got my Converse on. I find jumpsuits are like a good medium in, in oh hello, <laughs> talking of jumpsuits, we have another person in a jumpsuit. I think jumpsuits are good if it's a bit warm but it's still a bit cold and we don't know what the weather's like, do we? Okay. So we've got jumpsuits on. Could you go and get your trainers on munch again? <gasps> and then we're ready. So today we're off to one of my kiddos' favourite places in Birmingham. We're off to Think Tank and actually, if you go all the way back, it's one of the first places I visited and we did like a little vlog when they were little tiny and there's loads of stuff to do there for kids of all ages. There's some new bits and pieces that I'm really really looking forward to. There is a new gallery called Art Changing Planet and I know my boy will love that as we know he loves the environment. He loves anything to do with that and also they have like this little village there called Mini Brum where you can be adults when you're kids so they have like a little doctor's surgery and little phone booths and it's really really cute so i will take you along with us we're going to get in the car now before we go i just thought i'd show you how helpful lucy was making the bed as we can see super helpful as per usual lucy we're going out for the day are you going to miss me don't move if you're going to miss me <gasps> she's going to miss me just all getting in the car so think tank has been closed obviously for like the past year um so it's really good <laughs> it's really good that it's open now which is great because summer holidays are coming up let me know if you've got any plans for the summer holidays with your kiddos or with your grandchildren or your nieces or nephews let me know we're gonna head on now we've got a slot at the planetarium at 11 so that's exciting and also we've got lunch so i'm really looking forward to you excited kiddos yay Hi uh. <laughs> we are here at the think tank and just to let you know <laughs> just to let you know the new entrance is on floor zero they're very excited Are you excited guys <laughs> so let's go in in the section when you come in there's loads of like machinery and all sorts of fun things to look at it's got like, I know there's a big steam train as well. So this is super fun. They are so excited. I cannot begin to express to you how excited these two kiddos are. This is one of the best bits. This is a mini brum. Mini brum. So it's like a little mini Birmingham. You've got shops, you've got cafes, you've got like a dressing room. You've got like a little market. Um, they swap all these toys around and clean them and everything. So kids are having, currently making each other's ice creams. Look like a cute little post office section, a little shop. Uh, it's just so sweet. Little tiny tables. So it's like a full village for adults, but kiddo size. I adore it. Here's a little construction bit the kids put helmets and things on earlier and did some oh hang on here we go here's one of mine <laughs> they are passing bricks to one another and there's a big slide i can hear everything going erin obviously we've got to the portion of anywhere where we go where stephen is up there <laughs> he always loves to get stuck in oh i love it i love it so much you having fun yeah so Mini Brum was designed by children, for children. Mine just keep running past me. Oh, good job, that's not real. So this is the new exhibit, Our Changing Planet. And it's all about like the environment, how the planet's changing. 
um, just, oh my god, he, Ethan just loves stuff like this. Look at all this, guys. This is fascinating. So what's that? That's an adult woolly mammoth. An adult woolly, woolly mammoth tooth, and that's a baby one. That is fascinating. They're between 400,000 and 12,000 years ago. A little bit older than you. Just a bit. <laughs> If you know anything about Birmingham, you will know all about this motorway. The amount of times I've been on this in my life. It's actually not far from where Nanny Joyce used to live at all. This section's all about like the body and I heard somebody say to their little kid, ooh, poo, <laughs> what is poo? That's what we all need to find out, all about poo. That's poo. Ugh, poo. <laughs> this is the real skull of a dinosaur triceratops. Wow! Look at this, look at it! It's a giant. It is huge. What did you say, Ethan? Oh, it's all the facts. Br Brummy factor, too. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Look at that. Whoa. That is massive. This is a crocodile skeleton, 150 million years old, Ethan. Yes. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, the grass spoke. <laughs> right, we are in the outdoor bit, in the little, the little garden, where it's got loads of little fun science activities. Of course, Stephen's already on one. Go on, Ethan. Whoa. Right, Stephen, get in the wheel. Come on, get in this wheel. Morning. Go on, somebody get in the wheel. Go on. You ready? Go on then. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's what I was just about to say. We tend you the hamster in the hamster wheel. Go. <laughs> I'd be scared if I did it that I'd go all the way upside down. <laughs> Walk faster. Right, we've been summoned to the water section which is very pleasant when it's a very summery, sunny day. Come on. <laughs> I am really laughing that Stephen got wet then. <laughs> Come over here, we need you, really need your help in something. And he's just like, water in the face. Right, we're going to finish up here a bit and then I think we're going to go and get some dinner. You can eat outside when it's a bit sunnier, but we're going to go and eat inside today. So that's good. Um, Ethan is soaking wet. Bear this in mind. If you bring your children. And there's water. Come to get some lunch at the signal box. <laughs> and we buy my favourite, the big massive train, which has been in Birmingham around as long as I can remember. So we've got the big massive train. We're gonna have some lunch. I've got a jug of potato, or it seems like a massive pizza. So we're just having a little bit of a relax now before the food comes and food and then shop have a little mooch around the shop last stop before any good end to a little trip out with the kids is the shop they've got a brand new shop here and the kids have got their pocket money so let's see if they get anything i would have to say the favorite thing in the shop of mine is the birmingham color palette which is a very in joke if you're from Birmingham, you'd know what we were talking about. Old bush yellow, um, Mr. Egg yellow, jewelry quarter gold. All you brummies, let me know if you know what, what I'm talking about. Thanks so much to the Think Tank for inviting us along. We had so much fun. Did you have fun, guys? Yeah. Yes. We are now heading to a shopping centre, like a retail park. And we're going to pop to Poundland and if I have uploaded a haul you will have seen it by now or you will see it soon so keep your eyes peeled for that I'll, I'll link it above if I've already done it I'm gonna look for some summer holiday stuff because as I say it's not far so some bits and pieces and also Ethan has got his first in-person in-person birthday party since I don't know maybe he's... yeah but maybe maybe your last party was your own party in 2020 for january but i can't even remember what you did yeah. no i was 
Oh, you had friends around you to build a bear, didn't you? That, no, that was when I turned seven. Yeah, when you turned... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to go and pop and get a little um, present for the first... Oh! <laughs> struggling to get out. <laughs> struggling. Oh! Stealing, struggling to get out here. We're going to go and pick up that. So that'll be fun. And then also, on the way back, can I pop up and pop and go and get my uh, makeup, please? Yeah. So my makeup has been delivered. I've ordered it from John Lewis and it's been delivered to a Waitrose. So I can go and pick it up from a Waitrose uh, because I just thought it was easier. I don't know, actually coming to my house would have been easier, but I can go and pick it up so I can show you that. So right, let's go. Back home now, just making a cup of tea. Um, we popped to a couple of shops. We got for the birthday boy, We've got a Monster Factory like slime kit. His mom loves doing crafts and activities and stuff. So um, whilst I know some parents out there are like, that would be my idea of hell. She loves stuff like that. So he's eight, perfect. He's gonna be turning eight. Surprise yourself with monstrous experiments. Looks like um, slime. And then I saw this in the baby section. Uh, my friend's having a baby in a few weeks. And I saw it because I just thought it was just my first macaron. My first macaron, you know. It's what every child needs. So I'm gonna put that in with like some baby clothes I got. Um, also, the kids and I watched a video about how to make your own pet like wrapped food. So we're planning on doing that this week. Let me know if you ever wanna see any, if you're interested in anything like that. So we've got like a, a litre capacity, 4.5 litre capacity tub to put, so you put in it, I mean this is just the basics, you put in like your normal wrap food and then we've got some nature salad which is like dried leaves and stuff, you put a bit of dog food in, you can put some cereal in, you can put some pasta in, so we'll make that, uh, perhaps not today, we might do that tomorrow and that, so that'll be nice, like a little treat for them. We are washing drying everything in the house. Right, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to go upstairs and then I'll show you the makeup that I picked up. I swear I'm jinxed. I swear I'm jinxed. I swear I've come on this channel numerous times in the years where I've ordered things and things just aren't in the parcel. So I'd ordered an eyeshadow primer, um, uh, uh, palette and a highlighter and the eyeshadow primer just is not in there. So I phoned up and they've refunded the money. So I'll just have to get another one. Not the end of the world, but it's just like, why did the, why, why does it happen? Um, so the palette I chose is Born This Way, The Natural Nude. So it's like, um, there's some sparkly, you know, browns. It's kind of the colours that I wear. You know, we've got browns, but, but not a decade old. So that's really not, I'm a little bit disappointed it's not in a metal case. I wonder why they're not in metal cases anymore. Does anybody know? Maybe is it to do with recycling? No idea. But um, 18 months, we've got a year and a half, guys. A year and a half, so if I'm still using this in two, two or three years, let me know. And also, I opted for this um, little highlighter set, which is just like real pale highlighters, and that is Too Faced Born This Way, like a highlighter. Oh, they're both from the same little... Um, range so yes so i've got a perfume coming i've got a spray coming i think i'm gonna book a hair appointment and you lot won't recognize me but i'll still be the kind of girl that has a bra hanging on the back of a door right i am going to go now i will be back in a second for you but it'll be a day for me with some bits and pieces that i got in the zara sale for disney um i'm very tired i've got a cup of tea Erin's playing computer games, Ethan's chilling out watching telly, Stephen's took the dog for a walk, the tumble dryer's on, the washing machine's on. Proper hardcore Sunday afternoon. Right, see you in a second. <laughs> I've gone for a bold look today. I'm <laughs> wearing some um, blue light glasses that Claire's Accessories sent me with my tie dye and my pink. I think I'm going to take them off. Hi, guys. Right, today I had like a... Um, Getting stuff done day. I sorted through my boy's wardrobe and good news, 
he came this morning, he was like, look, we're going to do your bedroom, how do you want your bedroom? And he came in and he just said the words that I would long to hear, mummy, I would like a Disney bedroom. And I was like, what kind of Disney bedroom do you want? And he was like, you know, just full of Disney stuff. <gasps> So I'm going to get him to write down what characters he would like in there. I think I might limit it to a couple because otherwise he will just literally list 4,000 characters. But that will be fun to do in the coming months. A little Disney bedroom. So I sorted through his wardrobe and put bits and pieces away. Also sorted out. <laughs> you're like Emma, you're fascinating. Also sorted out over there, like the drawers are all the towels and everything. But I promised to show you some Zara stuff, didn't I? So, I'm size 18, um, English size, British size. In America, I think that is a 14. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I don't really buy anything from Zara. I'm not sure I bought anything from Zara apart from maybe a bag in my whole life bought a few bags from Zara but I've never really bought anything else so I asked my friend Bethany or Beth she is like a Disney blogger I was like look they sell Disney stuff will stuff fit me and she said yeah size 18 is an XL so I got a few bits in the Disney sale this is just a portion of it but I am going to do a whole I'm going to do a what I'm packing for my Disney cruise like a two-parter so I'm going to do the first part will be um like clothes and accessories I think and then the second part will be you know like a compact with me kind of thing and that will be coming up if you haven't seen it that will be coming up soon so here's a few bits so yeah if you're a similar sort of size to me um the XL does fit I don't know how oh you nearly fell off I don't know how it would fit in capacity so like dresses or jackets or things that's not a stretchy material let me know you know let me know if you're my size. So yeah, Zara sale. I have bought a few pieces, Disney pieces, because I think they may last a little bit longer than this stuff um, from Primark. I'm just checking if it's you can put it in the tumble dryer. Sad times, you can't. I love stuff you can pop in the tumble dryer. You're looking at your next for stuff you can pop in the tumble dryer. So sad times, but. I got um, everything I've kind of s tried to size up because um, we've got a cruise booked. We've also got Disneyland Paris booked at some point. And then we've got um, Florida booked as well. So I got these little shorts for Ethan in age nine. Really, really nice. Um, it says $12.99. They weren't $12.99. I'm going to say they were like $8.99 or something. So those were really, I thought those were really cute. I got both of the kiddos, these jumpers. Um, I got a 10 and a 9 and Ethan will have the 10 when Erin grows out of it. I don't know why I didn't get the 11. I'm wondering maybe if it had sold out already. But it's like a um, brownie orangey jumper. Um, really cute design with Mickey on. I thought it was really nice and unisex. They both could wear it. It's got Erin like this little bit at the back. I just thought that was really fun for them to wear, to be honest, together. And it says Mickey Mouse, believe in magic. So I thought that was really nice. It'll be nice if it's cold on the cruise. It'll be nice if it's cold in the parks. Liked that. Obviously, Ethan's only eight, so he can have these for a few years yet. So I've got his in a nine. I um, thought that looked nice with like some jeans or... But it looked cool. And then for me, I have bought some other ones, but as I said, they're over there and I'm gonna um do a full like Disney haul kind of thing. So this is XL and in USA it'd be XL as well. And you know I love a striped top, so it is a striped top. It's not white though. It maybe it's looking white on there. It's like beige and navy and a little Pluto. Um, with nice little things and it fits nicely be really nice to tuck into a skirt because you know I wear a lot of skirts I've made my first order from Sheen Cheyenne? Sheen I don't know but I saw um, some really nice midi skirts on there so I've ordered a black one, a mustard one 
and a blue one so um I might actually do a video of like outfits that I plan to wear when I go on holiday or outfits I plan to wear for the summer um and the blue one I'm hoping that I can wear with this and also maybe the mustard one as well Mustard's a really good co colour if you're planning on going a, um, to like a, a Disney adventure because it kind of goes with the, the Mickey red and the black. So yeah, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We had a lovely time at Think Tank. Oh dear, me. it's all the tidians got me tired. We had a lovely day at Think Tank. Um, it was so much fun. As I said, it's one of our favourite places can't wait for the summer holidays let me know if you want me to do any kind of summer holiday content like how i'll keep the kids occupied um cheap and easy things to do because you know i love to do the scrapbooks and i love to do the little pot where you have the you pull the things out so the kids get to pick what they want to do that day so let me know if you want to see any of that or packing for a picnic anything like that it's been a while since i've done stuff like that so i'd really enjoy doing it I love you lots. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you for another day, uh, in another few days for another upload, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.